So this command block video, it's going to be pretty stinking simple, but I know it's going to be useful for a lot of people who are running servers and trying to do stuff with data packs. So in a nutshell, I've made this book that every player can obtain that gives them different types of warps to different areas, like um, the end island. Uh, we've got different nether hubs. And you can see it's really fast, really, really fast. There's like a little bit of a help menu. Uh, you go to different, all sorts of different places. The point is, you don't have to be an operator to do this. In fact, if I de op myself and I go ahead and try and do this again, see, here I'll go over here. There we go. Go back to the nether. All this stuff works. So you don't have to be opt because it's using trigger scoreboards. And for those who don't know, it's essentially a scoreboard. It's one of the only commands that a deop player can run slash trigger. And then you can see all these things. So I have a scoreboard called warp and all the book does is it makes the player run a command that sets their warp score to a certain number. Like the spawn that I'm here at is five. There we are. So it's, it's that simple. And the teleport command, for those who don't know, doesn't. you can run it in a different dimension. So you can essentially, in one line, teleport someone from any dimension to another. You don't have to do anything really fancy for that. So this is what the code actually looks like. I know this is a ton of text, but I'll kind of highlight where you need to look. So if we're looking at, this is the new spawn point, you can see it's run in the overworld right here, and it teleports all players with a score of five to those coordinates, and that's just a fate. The last little bit there is what direction they're facing, and that's it. Um, you can see a little bit of extra stuff here because I added a bit of a delay for people to be able to access certain warps. Uh, that's like 10 in-game hours, but it's just 20 ticks a second that scale it up. So, this is this is it. Um, you can see I do in the nether here, and three is the end. So that's all you have to do. And as for actually making the book, there's really great tools already available, just like this. So if you're looking here, this is the book creator, Minecraft.tools, and there you are. And here's everything you need. It, it, you just input your stuff, like I want to go to warp spawn, you select all of it and you have it when someone clicks on it, you run the command. Uh, I don't know if you have to use the slash or not, but trigger your scoreboard name, set, and the value. And that's it. And now when someone clicks on that text, you're good to go and you can add colors and and all sorts of formatting if you want, but that's all there is to it. You know, add hover text, Anyhow, I really hope that this brief tutorial has been helpful for some of you server admins out there. I'm probably just going to release a few of these because I've been I've spent the last several months sort of figuring out different things you can do in vanilla survival with commands and whatnot. And um, the limits there are you you think command blocks would be really limited, but in fact you can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. So. Anyhow, uh, look forward to those, and I will see you all in the next video.